Hi, everyone. This is Devin Karras from the Manhattan Office of Bond, Schenick and King's Employee Benefits and Executive Compensation Department. Under the Setting Every Community Up for Retirement Enhancement Act of 2019, the SECURE Act, for planning years beginning on or after January 1, 2024, employers sponsoring 401k plans are now required to allow their long-term part-time employees to make elective deferral salary contributions to their 401k plans. What this means is that employees who worked at least 500 hours for each of three consecutive years much now, must now be allowed to make 401k plan contributions. Importantly, this three-year requirement gets reduced to two years for plan years beginning in 2025. So it's important that employers be sure to monitor the hours worked for their non-full-time employee staff for 2023 and 2024. If you follow the link to our Business in 2024 webinar series for this past Tuesday, February 27th, you'll hear me talk more about proposed regulations from the IRS issued late last year, clarifying certain important points about implementation of the new long-term part-time employee requirement. So, for example, you'll, you'll hear me talk about who can be excluded from a long-term part-time employee rule. How exactly do employees determine who a long-time part-time employee is under the new rules? How are employers supposed to count hours for purposes of the 500-hour service requirement? Do employers have to allow long-term part-time employees to be eligible for matching or other employer contributions? Answers to these and other questions can be found at the link below. Don't worry, if you haven't implemented the long-term part-time employee requirement yet, there are ways to correct oversight such as this, and we're here to help.